poor school infrastructure and shortage of qualified teachers have threatened the provision of quality education for hundreds of children at Nablok, a border community in the Bumpungu, Nyanpanduri district of the northeast region. The children are currently learning in a mud structure which was constructed several years ago and has severely deteriorated with cracked walls, sandy floors, broken windows and leaking roofs. The school has the only one trained teacher and two volunteers currently teaching the entire school. The people still join us despite the challenges. They won't give up. They have up pleading with the education authorities to fix their school building and send in trained teachers as well as provide furniture and learning materials. Ilias Utanko reports. It is a Wednesday morning here at Nablook, a community in the Bumpurgut Napanduri district inhabited by Traba Bimoba farmers in the northeast region. Time is about 9 a.m. and this shimmering zinc rooftop is the building of the only junior high school in the community. The facility itself appears old, weak and completely in shambles. It is only a mud structure constructed decades ago by the community after years of neglect by the state. From poor infrastructure to lack of teachers, teaching materials, furniture, this school lacks almost everything. The students have just been dismissed from the morning assembly and are headed into their classrooms for the day's lessons to begin. Inside the classroom is a sandy floor, crack walls, stones used as decks and leaking roofs. The school has only three teachers, which include a trained teacher, a NAPCO volunteer and one other from Togo who can only teach French. The only teacher who has reported to school today is busily preparing the Form 3 students for their BECE external texts. The students for both Form 1 and 2 were therefore left stranded, cramped on broken tables and chairs with no academic activities for the day. And the students tell me this is a regular occurrence. When we are here, we have we never seen any science teacher here. And we don't know we don't know what is science. We don't know what is ICT. We don't know what is social studies. It's affecting us so much. And we we are pleading for government to give us more teachers and it will help us to write exams and pass. We are sitting in the floor. Sometimes we can't even write. If master Rise on the ball, we can't write. For the Form 3 students, however, teaching and learning was ongoing but under these disastrous conditions. The children are being taught information communication technology lessons but without computers. Uh, let's look at some of the features. We have the document, and the first one is the title bar. Where is the title bar? Title means heading. Title, heading. So the whole document you are going to, the whole this thing you are going to type, this is where you will see what, what type of window are you using? When you are using Microsoft, the first one you see is that it will be a Microsoft Word, you know. And this the teacher, Kwame Frempon, appears the very brilliant and, and only needs the right tools to I impact knowledge to the children. Unfortunately, he has been teaching one. under these tragic this conditions for three years. He is now very doubtful of his own effort and wants an immediate intervention from the state. It's really difficult. Very difficult. Because we don't have anything in particular. Here is a place where there is no light and go. So the students are not even having a feel of it. And they don't know what it's even about. All that it is that you make it practical for them. When they get a chance, get to a better SS, then they can have a feel of it. The situation, if we want to give an account of everything, it's, it's just bizarre. The, the, the shortest description I, I can give is it's a bizarre situation. Back then, when we were in college, though sometimes they will let you understand that you will not get it rosy, everything will not be rosy. But I did not give it a thought that it will be worse like this. So I thought maybe you can go to a place, it will be bad. that's where they will tell you improvise, improvise. But there are some situations, no matter how you improvise, it will not work. Such is what we are, we, are, we, are, we are enduring here currently. Quality of education depends on the availability of textbooks and furniture, availability of sanitary and water facilities, conditions of school structures, and the availability of quality trained teachers, among others. 
but here in the Nablook Junior High School, the situation is completely the opposite, where children have been studying in a hostile environment. And the cumulative effect is that the performance of the children in the school in the basic education certificate examinations has been relatively lower than the national average. The ICT side, the teaching and learning is too difficult because there is no computer in our school. And even we have never seen it in this school before. So we are paying the government and the NGOs and civil organizations for them to come for our aid. Ilias Sutanko reported. NGOs and all other individuals to come in our aid because we are suffering. 